Hi everyone, Andy here. In today's video I need to change the front wheel bearing on my Yamaha Jog. Last season the wheel was wobbling quite a bit in corners. First I stacked some wood under the frame to lift the front wheel. There's way too much play in this wheel, no wonder it felt awful. Basically you just have to remove this nut, then you slide out the axle bolt. And you have to remove the speedometer drive gear to fully release the wheel. My jug has disc brakes, but it's the same method with drum brake jugs. With those make sure that you reset the brake to release the brake pads and that way the wheel. We start by removing the spacer and then we can move on to the seal. This rubber seal is in rough shape. Wait a minute, this bearing looks like it came from the Titanic. At this point I just slide in a screwdriver that I can hit with a hammer. I find the inner edge of the bearing that I can hit. Then 180 degree from there I hit it again. Then I repeat this process till the bearing falls out. It's out. That's another spacer. Make sure that you don't leave it out when reassembling. This guy is a corner and everything is rusty in here. What happened with this? Now I just mesh out the other one. This one is way easier. Look how they massacred my boy. I use a Dremel with a polishing wheel and some polishing compound to get rid of most of the rust and debris. I just grab some paper towels to clean it out. It looks good enough, now I put some grease in there to prevent it from rusting again.
Caution! For the following part, use a socket or something that only contacts the outer edge of the bearing. Anything else can damage your new bearing. Don't forget about the spacer. I slowly tap it in its place. Now the seal and the other spacer. This is a great time to pack some grease in the speedometer drive gear. It helps its longevity. If you have a disc brake, make sure that you push back the piston. That way it's easier to put back the wheel in its place. Make sure everything is aligned. Then slide back the axle bolt. Now just tighten the nut. Wait, whose cat here is this? It's perfect, there is no play in the wheel. By the way, make sure that you reset the brake after putting back the wheel. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, or a dislike if you disliked it. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and hit the bell icon to get notifications when I upload. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.